Hey, Randy, you're live. Hey, good evening. Hey, man, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I am outstanding, and uh, I'm really excited that you're um, here tonight. I want to, and I want to thank you for taking the time to uh, to come and share your stories tonight. Oh no, thanks for having me. Thanks for teaching me some good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Now, for everyone, this is this is Mr. Randy Larson. He lives in Central Florida, kind of near my home base, where I was born and raised, in uh, in Central Florida, and he has been out silently picking up small apartments when he's not vacationing somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> he's had a, he's had a uh, nice, relaxing summer. He's come back and picked up a number of properties. And so I've invited Randy on tonight's call. And we're going you know, to talk about a number of his recent deals, small apartments, and um, kind of going to be free format here. Um, but I wanted you guys to hear about one of the, you know, one of your, one of your own, one success stories. Hey, hey, Randy, I've got a few yeah. slides I just want to use to kind of, uh, yeah, perfect. Prep you with some questions, and perfect. um, and I found your picture on LinkedIn, by the way, and so there. Oh boy, Randy. <laughs> hey, oops. And you, there's another you picture, there's like. another picture of you that's even more funny, but I thought I wouldn't put it up here. But this. Yeah, you better not. <laughs> But oh boy, <laughs> there's there's a picture of Randy. Like I say, been purchasing multiple small apartments uh, with owner financing and other means. But like I said, there's just a few slides, just with bullet points. I'm just going to use these as just kind of rough guidepost. Randy, you feel free to talk okay. about whatever you want to talk about or not talk about whatever you don't want to talk about. But I thought maybe as a way of an intro, if you wouldn't mind sharing uh, your background with everyone and you know. What prompted you to get started with apartments? What prompted you to get started in real estate in the beginning? How long have you been involved? What, you know, what kind of training have you had? Just, sure, just sure. I, uh, I am just, I've always been a serial entrepreneur my whole life. So I, I, I got off to school and realized that I was never going to be good working for somebody. And so I got, I got off right away and opened a gym and and did a bunch of other things at a gym for about eight years, and then did some small other entrepreneur things at a demolition company and uh, pool safety fence company, some kind of crazy things, some niche markets that were pretty good, though. And uh, then the housing market took a crunch. And fortunately, I had a million friends that were involved in real estate when I was doing all these other things, and they all felt the massive real estate crunch. And uh, I, fortunately, was not involved in real estate yet. So... Uh, got to see everybody kind of get beat up a little bit, and then I got involved right after the whole market and bubble burst and whatnot. Uh, I was introduced to uh, flipping single-family homes, uh, buying and selling them, sometimes not even touching them, buying them cheap, selling them cheap, and um, did that and built a system to be able to buy single-family houses through the actual, through HUD, which is the government. Uh, HUD is what... Uh, you know, in a foreclosure process, HUD, HUD will take over at the end, and so I was buying from HUD and built a system around it, and it was great. But you know, you end up doing just a ton of single-family houses, and uh, got an itch to look into something a little bit bigger, and ran ran into uh, Lance's program, and so uh, I was involved with single-family houses for about two and a half years. I probably flipped, I think I flipped about 425 houses in those two years, and. Um, but wanted to start holding properties was one of my goals, and also holding more than just one of these all over the place, um, but but more so some some larger numbers in a you know more volume in a small area. So that meant uh, apartments were going to be hopefully my new niche. So I became an apprentice <laughs> and started uh, using all, all the tricks of the trade here, and uh, <laughs> some of them worked pretty well. I got to tell you. Well, we're going to get into that, but I got to I got to. Let me, I want you to realize something about Randy. He's really an amazing guy because you know, I'll be caught in two and a half years. If these are the right numbers, two and a half years, you did about 425 houses. Is that right? Yeah, yes, yeah, single families. And so 425 divided by 30 months, that's basically 14 flips per month. And one of, there's many, many facets, but one of the things that's really great about Randy, he just mentioned here is his systems. I mean, he has built a real business of systems where he has, um, you know, people taking the calls, making the calls. He has, in, in, in the meantime, but he didn't tell. He 
you know, he spends more time in Fiji than I think anywhere else. In <laughs> but had, he, had a fortunate summer. <laughs> yeah, he had a good. Spent a lot of time with his family and his friends, and he goes to great events and is always always learning more. And that's you know due to due to his system. So it's just it's amazing. All right, so we're we're really fortunate to have Randy here. So all right, so we got that as way of background. So now you've been doing. You know, you, you and I have been talking. You got a number of deals you've done in the last uh, just a few weeks. Maybe if you want to talk about some of those recent ones, I know you picked up some small yeah. partners with some financing. Is, is there any particular ones you want to yeah. especially talk about? Sure. Well, you know, I obviously got involved to begin with. They really looked for the bigger, the bigger deals, the bigger apartments, and um, and so we started our, our postcard campaign. And I've been actually getting uh, a lot of duplexes and triplexes, which at first I was putting my nose up. But uh, I recently got a duplex uh, in Leesburg, Florida, and um, was got to the duplex, was put under contract, uh, purchased it. Actually, when it was under contract, I was walking in the backyard, and I noticed uh, there was a triplex and a duplex across the backyard. And you know, first thing that came up in my mind was, oh, we got maybe peas in a pod. So I uh, got back to the office, and I uh, quickly uh, went online, found out who owned those, wrote a handwritten letter to him that just said, hey, listen, you know, I just bought the duplex, he uh, gazed across, he made it kind of goofy, I was like, I gazed across the yard and saw your two wonderful properties. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I mean, and, and honestly, they're kind of dumps, but they're cash flow machines. I mean, they're just a triplex and a duplex, but they're inexpensive and they rent for good money and they're just cash flow, but kind of made the letter kind of sarcastic. And uh, the crazy thing is literally two days after I sent it in snail mail, I got a call back from a gentleman and... Uh, he lived in Tampa. He was wanted. He wanted to get rid of them. He was willing to owner finance them to me for interest only, for three years. Uh, so I'm giving him a thirty thousand dollars down on, on five units, and he's owner and he's owner and he's uh, interest only the other amount for uh, three years. So I'll just kind of um, I'm going to fix him up a little bit and uh, raise the rents a little bit, and then I'll just refinance him before that three years is up and pay him off, and then just continue to cash flow him. So that that was he's in a pot which works well, and then it's, I've actually used it in a couple other. Other areas, we I did I bought another uh, three duplexes that I put under contract from uh, postcard being mailed out. All my stuff is direct to owners. Um, I did a lot of loot net stuff. I did a lot of that, and it's, it's exciting. And there's a lot of good deals out there. But I found the true deals and the really way that you want to negotiate and and be able to get some of these different um, financing options is by getting directly to these owners. So these postcards, it's really it's, it's amazing. But you, you mail these postcards out and it's. it's you get calls. <laughs> you, know, you think it's kind of silly, but you get calls. And I was getting, you know, 10 or 15 calls for every postcard, for every 100 postcards that was going out. So I had another gentleman call me that had uh, he got a postcard for one of his duplexes. Well, come to find out, he had two more, so he had a total of three. So I've got those under contract, and now I've talked to an owner in the same community of duplexes and who has three also, and I'm negotiating with them trying to get those three. So that would give me. You know, before you know it, you end up having the large number of units in a small area, but it just maybe takes a little more work putting it together. So, oh, that is awesome. And that, so I think that that last offer is news to me. I didn't realize that. That's it. Yeah. Last week. <laughs> yeah. 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 I got back and kind of cranked it out, but yeah, I got three three hundred contracted then. But then I've and I'm hopefully negotiating with the owner of the in that same little neighborhood. It's got like there's like twenty duplexes. I'd like to buy them all up, but there's like twenty in there. And so I got another guy that's got three more, and I'm I'm negotiating with him, trying to get him to, do, you know, give me a deal on those. Maybe some also some uh, he might do some self financing with me for a few years. So that's what you. That's the, the good thing about a lot of times the loop net and that kind of stuff. You, you won't get your hands into some stuff that you can maybe get some owner financing with. Um, when you go directly to these owners, you can really chat with them and sometimes really build some good rapport with them in which. They start out the conversation, which they want nothing to do with what owner financing might be. And next thing you know, you've explained to them, you show them an offer sheet, you talk to them a little more, you joke with them, and next thing you know, they're they're, they're owner financing the thing to you, and you and you're you got it for nothing out of pocket, really. So. And that, I mean, thank you for saying that. I just let me put in a plug here for for direct mail is that you know that's exactly what I what I preach is that you know getting that one on one contact with an owner. Just Randy said it. You build a rapport. You can explain to them the benefits of owner financing, your offer, etc. Now, now let's, let's put it in retrospect. If, if you had agents between you and those owners, you think you would have gotten the same deal, Randy? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, the, the you know you're looking at at least three percent, if not maybe you know four, six percent. You're looking at just also jumping through more hoops. 
I mean, it's just there's so much less paperwork when you don't have a bunch of people in between. I mean, I've done, you know, the single family house just dealt with a lot of contracts and stuff. And sometimes I'm, and, and my good thing that was a, you know, I was dealing with wholesaling then too. And so there wasn't a whole lot of paperwork, which I'm not used to. And that's what's good about this is when you're dealing with the homeowners and you know, the agents, you always got to jump through all kinds of hoops and you got more money and you got, they're, they're busting up the deals or they got their opinions. And, you know, some of them are good, but some aren't. And it's just a lot easier to go directly to the, to the, to the, <laughs> well, I, I, now let me let me come back to one thing you just said. I want to make sure everyone um, heard this. So, the, one of the, one of the most recent projects you're working on is uh, the neighborhood a, a pod of duplexes, and there's you. Yeah. I think you picked up. I think I already say two or three of them, or you're getting ready to pick up two or three, and you have a there's enough. You have a friendly competitor trying to do the same. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I, there well there is. Yeah. In that, in that one duplex, there's three that I've picked up. So I got those three, and then there's three more that I'm working on. But then there's another guy in the duplex that has like nine of them. So I'm trying to figure out the best avenue, whether it's to join forces and see if he's interested in that, or whether it's to hold out until he really wants to buy mine too and just jack up the prices. Or you know, so I'm, I'm trying to feel what I'd like to get these other these other three under contract and be ready to buy them, so I have a little more leverage. I have 15 minutes then, and then I can really kind of approach a guy and see see what he uh, what his thoughts are. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was, for everyone's benefit, I was sharing this with Randy last week. This is actually um, precisely how I got my start. It was only distinction. It was a pot of fourplexes, and I was buying up fourplexes in the neighborhood. I had a friendly competitor. He was buying up fourplexes in the neighborhood in the pot. But we both had the same intention to improve the entire pot, basically through control of, of the property. And uh, there's different ways, you know, that you can team up together or – you know, as long as you have the same intention, or you can do like I did, is I just held out to the, I, you know, held on to my fourplexes, held out to the end, sold them. <laughs> I was a holdout, sold him my fourplexes, and guess who made the most money ever sold on a fourplex in that neighborhood? So, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's that's great. So these properties, do they have much? Are they? I don't know. I know you do a lot. Of, you do rehabs. Do you have much rehab associated with these deals? No, these are great. I put in, I put some contingencies in the contract, so the guy, I forced him to go out there and get all the roofs cleaned off. Get them all, get them all inspected. Make sure there was no water penetration. That they had a little bit of life on them. Um, they're all moving. They're all, they're all moving ready. You know, you know, obviously moving and ready is relative, depending on where you're moving into. <laughs> Some people live all different ways, but these, these are moving ready. <laughs> they're livable, and uh, you know, the rent's not huge. That's what I'm, that's my main goal is to see if between me and this guy and whoever else, else in there wants to update a few of these things that we can get the rents up to, you know, maybe six and a quarter or so. Right now, they're at like five hundred. So I think we can probably get up to 650, um, and it just you know take a little time to get them going. But it's a good solid neighborhood. They're all block. They're in you know good roofs, block buildings, in good shape. So um, just don't underestimate the peas in a pot. As soon as you get, look around, as soon as you you, you, you like something, because there's, there's usually more around. <laughs> all right, now um, on your exit strategy, you don't need to go into purchase price. But on your exit strategy, you're, this, you're saying your your intention right now is to hold on to them. And hold on to them for the cash flow, or do you see eventually yeah. selling them to trade up? Kind of, kind of where are you going? No, my my goal is to hold right now for as long as the numbers make sense, which is you know the making really good buys. So my I'd like to hold on to everything. I'm in a position where I can hold quite a few, and I'm working with a community bank um, that's looking like they're going to do some portfolio lending. So they'll put some you know ten or twelve units together in a portfolio and refinance it for me, and that way. Um, I can keep using my money and uh, hold these things for uh, as long as possible. <laughs> Create a, oh, a large great. portfolio. Well, all right. And with that, so where do you? What's next for you? What's what? what what's the vision? I, I, hope I imagine your vision is expanding now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to automate some of the systems, which is going pretty well. Um, I'm a big system guy, like Lance said, so I, I'm trying to automate a lot of the, the call volume that comes in. So we've We've done some automation projects, and uh, the calls come in, and most of the work is done. We just do a follow-up call to maybe to confirm everything, all the information we have, and then we send out offers trying to, just to get counter offers, just to get the phone to ring a little bit and just get the conversation going. Um, it's amazing how many people, you know, you're, you're way off of their number, but yet they'll, have a, they'll start having a conversation, and you get closer and closer to, to, to making the deal work. So. Next step is hopefully a bigger a bigger unit coming around, but I'm I'm happy just you know keep plugging away. 
Um, but I'd love to see a, a 30 or a 50 unit pop up that I could chat with an owner. And so that's that's the next goal. Just keep plugging, keep automating. Yeah, <laughs> but it's exciting. It's exciting to uh, to observe and exciting to to work with Randy because, like I say, just the systems side of it's just just truly awesome. All right, Randy, I got one last question for you. I got one last question. Yes, sir. You've been out here doing lots of deals. You've got systems. You've got a team. We got people that are listening to this that are, you know, so looking to get their first deal done. Um, what's the single most important lesson you've learned, either in this process, or what's the single most important maybe piece of advice you pass on to someone who's just getting started? I would say to go on as many appointments or as many as, as get. Do more direct mail. If you if you're stuck on if you're stuck on LoopNet until three in the morning, just because you love it and you love looking up the deals, it's great. It's fun. But get do some direct mail. Get involved with some owners. Get out there and do some appointments with these owners. Whether whether you're so far off, it doesn't matter or not. Get out there, talk to people, learn how to really build good rapport. Because that's what it's going to take when you meet that first that the real person that has that 25 or 30 units that you really want. And now you've got enough practice that when you get that call, you go out there, you're confident. And you can just build rapport and chat with them. That's the deal you're going to get because they're going to feel comfortable too. Like, you know, you know what you're doing. So just practice, practice, practice. Whether you think it's a waste of time or not, get out there and practice. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's that's great. That's great. Great advice, guys. Um, well, outstanding job, uh, Randy. I want to I want to thank you for well, for, I'm going to congratulate you and all the great oh, thank you. success you're having. And you just uh, I'm just you just you know, amazing guy doing amazing things with your systems and your business. Um, so congratulations and thank you. Well, thank you. You too, my man. Thanks for all the education and all the great stuff you've taught me. And uh, I will talk to you uh, in the near future here. <laughs> all right. Before you go, you up, for a couple of, you, up, you up for a couple of questions? Sure. All right. Guys, if you have a question, shoot me a question, and I'll relay it to Randy. Here is a uh, great opportunity. I'm gonna keep it short. So I think he's got some young ones, probably. And uh, so, but <laughs> if you have a question for Randy, shoot that over to me, um, uh, and I'll go ahead and relay it to him. I'm not seeing any questions. No got questions. It. Okay. All that, right. It was totally self-explanatory. But all right, Randy. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, <laughs> All right, then, um, okay, great job, and I'll look forward to uh, talking to you uh, this week. Yep, talk to you this week, bud. All right, man. Thank you. Right, Take thank care. You. All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. All right, everyone. So with that, let's, I told you, uh, you know, System work. So he, he, you know, Randy's progressed to the point to where um, he's, he's built out systems. He's building out systems. He's taking the exact same tools that you have in your hands right now, and he's just massively systematizing it to uh, get deal flow. The other point I want you to make sure you heard about the direct mail. Um, your postcards. Send your postcards out. I mean. He said, well, I did a match. He's getting 10 to 15 calls per 100 postcards. A 10 to 15 percent response. The national average is one. One. So he's getting, what, a thousand percent more response off these, off these postcards. And, uh, and so the other thing he said is just start. The thing about it, when, you, when you send stuff out, now you got people calling in. Now you've got you know, someone to talk to. And it's, as he pointed out, just get engaged with owners. And the, and the main advantage of Direct financing, I mean, not direct financing, direct mail is put in direct contact with the owner. There's no middle person involved. You can establish some rapport. You can present your offer. And the most creative deals get done when it's one-on-one uh, -on -one with the owner. And that's what's afforded to you through through direct mail. 